Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex here. Let me paint a men's hole image for you. Imagine me as a high school freshman first learning about the enormous ecosystem behind JavaScript libraries. I mean, there's a framework out there in JavaScript for nearly everything. Seeing the enormous amount of just random little JavaScript libraries as a high schooler really got me interested in the creative aspects of this. Now, one other thing that also has always really interested me is marketing, sort of like branding or like iconography. Anything that has a set of maybe repeated imagery that implies a mythos always gets me interested in it. You know, stuff like religions have this, companies have this for their own branding. It's a whole thing. So these two inspirations sort of came together for me like senior year in high school and I decided to build my first simple JavaScript library and I call it Loader.js. Loader.js is a very simple JavaScript framework that allows you to create very simple load screens for your websites. Originally I had wanted to, you know, be able to work on like mobile as well, but I didn't even know much mobile programming back then. Um, so really it's just for websites, which is great. I actually implemented it on my own personal resume site, although I haven't touched it since. It's been like, I don't know, maybe at least like four years since I've worked on it. Uh, but I thought like it would make a pretty good video topic. So today we're gonna take a look at how to use Loader. Okay, so I'm gonna start this new project here. Let's just create us a index.html. This is a website so that I can show you how to use Loader. Uh, I've already downloaded the very simple JavaScript library right here. Yeah, so it's like 35 lines of code. I will be providing a download link in the description of this video. So if you want to check out Loader for yourself, just go ahead and click there. So let's set up this HTML real quick. Okay, so I've written out a very simple HTML page right here. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the browser. Yeah, nothing too fancy, just a little bit of text right here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, so now that we know our site works, before we actually start using Loader, we're gonna have to import jQuery as well. So I'm gonna copy and paste this from the jQuery website. I don't know what this does. Don't come at me, so I'm gonna delete it. Um, and there we go. So now we have some jQuery in here. So now Loader will work. Okay, so now that we put jQuery into our site, we're gonna go ahead and integrate Loader into it. So it's actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of garbage um, because you have to wrap all of your site content inside this like wrapper class. Uh, so we're gonna call it, it's actually Loader Content because the content of your page. Uh, if I had designed this framework with the like, you know, web development experience that I have now, I would not have made it work like this. This is quite terrible but anyway and then we're gonna go ahead and create loader startup right here and this is actually gonna be all the content that you see in the loading screen so we'll say that's loading now i don't usually condone inline css but because this is just a simple little thing i'm just gonna go ahead and do it right here so div class loader startup now we want it to have a background color so we're gonna say backgrounds equals pink inside our loader startup div uh, and then let's go ahead and run this all right here we go so we started up we have loading we have our pink background this is our loading screen so usually you would put this in the center so i'm going to do that but as you can see if you actually look at the loader startup div here it's kind of fixed it in a certain position. So the width doesn't actually go all the way to the end of the right side of the screen. So, you know, if you just set like text align center, like I do here, it won't actually center H1. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do is go ahead and say left is like, you know, 50%. Um, and you can do like transform translate X negative 50% just to get it perfectly centered. And there we go. So we have a centered loading. Okay, so how do we actually dispel the loading screen? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So you just go to inspect element. Now, usually I would have done this in code, but I just wanna show everyone how to do it. So if you just do loader.display, it'll fade it out, and then you'll have your basic site content. 
So let's actually go ahead and put that into our JavaScript on like a set timer or something. Because, you know, you shouldn't expect anyone to go through your code uh, and call some weird library function just to get your site to work. So we're going to create a Lambda function loader.start and we'll start it. We'll stop loading after like three seconds on the site. So let's go ahead, refresh and see how this looks. All right. One, two, three. What the? Okay. <laughs> well, let's take a look at that doesn't help. Oh, okay. I got it. I actually did loader.start instead of loader.display. That would mess it up. Okay. So one, two, three, there we go. All right. So it fades out and that is how you would use loader.js. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did consider giving me a like, share, comment, subscribe, follow my social media, all that good stuff. If you would like to see some other old projects that I've done, you know, just say like, Hey, I want to see like a game or a JavaScript library, you know, you name it. I probably built it or something similar and I'll just put it up on the channel next. Uh, apart from that, I don't have too much else to say. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next week.